The menacing, secretive, and deceptive Mother Gothel, I believe, has secrets in her past that explain an aspect of her story I completely overlooked. After Mother Gothel discovers the Princess Rapunzel possesses the magical healing abilities of the Golden Flower within her hair, she kidnaps the girl and disappears. The Kingdom of Corona searched and searched, but they could not find the princess, even though she really hadn't traveled that far. The fact that Rapunzel could always witness the floating lanterns on her birthday, and the castle was only a day trip away, shows us the lost princess was not actually living that far from the king and queen for all of those years. The truth was, the updated map of Corona, based on the locations established in the series, reveals Gothel was actually hiding Rapunzel for her entire life within the walls of Corona. But how could this deception be possible? Hello, I'm Isaac from Lots of Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people. I'm focused on spreading the magic of Disney, and to do that today, I'm going to be theorizing on how Mother Gothel hid her tower and Rapunzel from the Kingdom of Corona. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about Rapunzel and Gothel after the video, I've provided all the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description. Deep in the woods, just past the Snuggly Duckling, my favorite tap room and karaoke lounge, and before old Corona, there exists a cave whose entrance is disguised by hanging plants. At the end of this deep, dark cave was a large rock pit with a single tower within it. It was here where Mother Gothel hid Rapunzel for 18 years, but I believe that tower has been around for much longer than that. If this secret tower was constructed in reaction to needing to conceal the princess, not only would Gothel have been forced to reveal the location of her hideout, but a construction project where builders and materials would traverse in and out of the cavern would have brought too much attention to where Gothel was going to remain hidden. Sure, there may have been discreet builders or shady criminals who could have accomplished that work, but I don't think Gothel was really willing to trust anyone at that time, especially when she was going to be harboring someone as valuable as a beloved princess who kept her alive. You see, after Mother Gothel was forced to face the possibility of approaching death when she witnessed her life source be taken away, she was unwilling to allow an incident like that to occur again once she possessed Rapunzel. Gothel had found her new magic flower, but this time she was determined to keep it hidden. I don't think the construction of Gothel's tower could have been commissioned around the time of Rapunzel's kidnapping because the location could have been discovered by the royals of Corona and Gothel was unwilling to take risks when it came to her new magic flower. Thus, I believe no one in Corona, not even the rulers, knew of the tower's presence because I think this was a structure and location Gothel had discovered years, decades, or possibly centuries before the birth of Rapunzel. And you know how I think Mother Gothel discovered that tower? In a book. That sure doesn't sound very dramatic, but I promise you it is. Because the book I think she reads actually contains many secrets on Corona and held great importance during a grand war. After the pre-Coronian woman, Mother Gothel, kept herself alive with the magic of the Golden Flower, she went on to live longer than she could have ever imagined. Since she extended her life for centuries beyond her original demise, we know Gothel either had to live near or continue to return to the land that would one day become Corona, since the Golden Flower was created just beyond the borders of that future kingdom. Knowing Mother Gothel was a pre-Coronian who must have been frequently living around Corona's future domain, we know of some of the key moments in history she lived through. We know she witnessed the use of technologies combined with magic to create powerful and intricate machines, tools, and robots that were built underground and into mountains. But she also saw that ancient knowledge, those people, and the machines they created fade away with the rise of Corona. Although the advanced pre-Coronian ways were lost, the underground networks integrated with ancient secrets were eventually expanded during a time of war. Centuries ago, Corona was engaged in a years-long war with its rival kingdom, Saporia. To combat the growing threat of invasion, the King of Corona decided to expand the tunnels below the kingdom. Corona's then king, Herz der Song, created a complex system of tunnels to move his knights and supplies wherever he needed. He then made a detailed map of these tunnels and their secrets in a secure journal. King Herstersan compiled the secrets behind the tunnels, including the booby traps and documentation of the ancient Corona technology, into this book of war. 
but I don't think this is all he would have built and recorded. I think the king wouldn't have solely relied on the tunnels to save the land. He would have also been constructing and documenting other structures like barracks, food supplies, and possibly even remote hideouts. Herster Zahn was facing an enemy who was capable of destroying all of Corona, so I think he used the same drilling technology he was using to create his tunnels to form a hidden sanctuary for citizens of Corona within a rock formation deep within a forest in Corona's borders, which of course included a tower and was recorded in his journal. I think what eventually would become Mother Gothel's tower and hidden land were built originally by Herster's son to protect his citizens during war, but how would Mother Gothel ever see the secrets in that journal? Well, it turns out the last page of Hursterson's journal contained a profession of his love for his arch enemy and the leader of Saporia, General Champagnier. It was then she realized she held similar feelings for him as well. And soon, the two were married. Due to the love between these rulers, they initiated a lasting peace between the two nations for forevermore. To commemorate that event, Corona celebrates the Day of Hearts by placing Herstersan's journal out in public for all those who have fallen in love to sign its pages. As a citizen of Corona, Gothel understood Herstersan had construction going on throughout the city prior to the war and knew by legend the journal contained the hidden secrets to what he had built. For hundreds of years, Gothel existed in this land, and I think she was witnessing, absorbing, and analyzing opportunities that could come her way throughout history. We know she is not afraid to take action if she believes it will benefit her own life. We see her manipulating a young girl, cooperating with criminals, and attempting to end a man's life all in the pursuit of preserving her control over her life-extending magic. Gothel just needed the right opportunities to take action upon, and I think this book is something she exploited. Rapunzel explains the only way to get into secure areas of the castle is through those hidden tunnels. If we want to get past the vault security, our best bet is to use the underground tunnels. And Hers de Son's journal has a complete map of them. But you also have to possess the knowledge from the book while adventuring through those tunnels, for they are a labyrinth filled with dangers. They are lined with deadly booby traps. The only way someone can discreetly get in and out of secure areas in the castle is through the tunnels, and to get through the tunnels, you have to have read Herstersan's journal. And there is proof Mother Gothel accomplished exactly that. Mother Gothel was able to enter the room of the king and queen of Corona and exit the castle with their daughter. I think that occurred only because she utilized information she had read in Dursan's book. Somehow, by either peeping into the other pages of Dursan's book for many days of heart celebrations, since she had hundreds of years to do so, or by learning enough through that method to sneak into the castle and read the rest of the journal, I think Gothel memorized those secrets which included the hidden construction I believe was built by Herz Dursan in the middle of a corona forest. I think by reading that book, she had found her tower. We know eventually the defense system the former king of Corona established became unutilized and faded from memory. Hers de Son's tunnels may have long been forgotten, but that doesn't mean they're not dangerous. So I think when Mother Gothel decided she wanted to live in a place hidden from the monarch and the world, and was sure none of the creators of the tower and hideout were alive, she snuck into the castle to Herstersan's book, and carefully removed the pages describing the tower and its location, transforming her into the only person in Corona who knew of its existence. Mother Gothel was a pre-Coronian who survived for hundreds of years in the kingdom of Corona. Her entire life was spent learning to patiently exploit people and secrets. So when Herster Zahn was constructing hidden passages and building structures across the kingdom during wartime, she sought after those military secrets. By examining Dursan's journal, I believe she learned of the location of a hideout within the borders of Corona. Once she determined she desired to live within the tower in that hidden land, I think she subsequently removed its pages from the book after the people who built that hideout perished, allowing her to be the only individual in the world who knew of it. I think through these actions, Mother Gothel had unknowingly secured a place fit to hide a lost princess. So now it's time for the question of the day, sponsored by my patrons. To become a patron yourself, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash videos. Here's a fun question for you. If you could live in one princess's kingdom, which would you choose? 
I would probably have to select Corona myself because I'm just a giant Tangled the Series fan. But I'd love to hear your thoughts, so let me know in the comment section, along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you enjoyed discussing Mother Gothel, then click that like button. And if you're interested in staying up to date with more Magical Tangled videos, then click that subscribe button, and please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you'd like to see more Watsal videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a magical day.